villages of Mumias, in the villages of Ikolmani, in the villages of Shinyalu, in the villages of our community, when we learned that our teachers, some of our teachers had died in Shakahola, I have no kind words for anybody who shielded the exposure of these criminals. Mr. Speaker, in this elaborate report, which I'm glad that now all members are acquainted with, the committee is asking the National Police Service Commission to severely sanction security officers whose acts of commission and omission aided or abetted the Shakahola tragedy 30 days from now. Mr. Speaker, so that it remains evidently clear to the Republic of Kenya that civil servants, senior security officers, they drink and dine on the blood of the poor. The committee has been very specific. It has said on page 135, Mr. Speaker, that Mr. Joseph Kemboi, the senior superintendent of police in charge of the sub-county police commander in Malindi, should be disciplined. Charles Kamau Wangu, the assistant superintendent of police, the criminal investigation officer in Malindi should be disciplined as should Simon Odera, superintendent of police, sub-county police commander, as should Mr. Guracha, the superintendent of police, critical infrastructure protection unit in Malindi, as should Augusto Akuna, officer commanding police station in Malindi, as should Hassan Hamara, officer commanding police station, Langobaya, and Calvin Maloa Otieno, the DCI of Malindi, Daniel Mudusi Muleli, the county criminal investigation officer, Jacinda Wesonga, county police commander, Paul Maweu, critical infrastructure protection unit officer, and Joseph Yator, police officer attached to Directorate of Criminal Investigations. They should be disciplined. Mr. Speaker, why I'm reading out these names in this August House is so that members of the public in Shakahola, in Malindi, in Kilifi, in Coast, everywhere in Kenya, should not obey any instruction from any of these officers should be the usual nonsense of government of transferring police officers who are supposed to be sacked be the practice in this case. I can assure any of them, if they appear in Kakamega on transfer, I will request politely the bullfighters of Hayega to resist. Honorable Bonnie. Are you calling for civil disobedience? And Can they withdraw that statement and proceed with your very good contribution? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I, I, I am so directed, and I do. But let it be understood that in our community, we say, he who is mourning knows no shame. This is in this debate I'm mourning. I, I have been to those, to those homes. In fact, in some of the homes, Mr. Speaker, we have already buried ba wet banana stems. In our culture, you bury a wet banana stem when you have lost out all the possibility of ever bringing your beloved one to be buried home. Because having stayed in Kilifi, our families have been there for months on end. And it is either DNA or what cannot be found, and therefore they are unable to know who amongst all these bodies is indeed their own beloved one. So they have buried bananas. 
I therefore withdraw that remark and appeal to the security organs to ensure that disciplinary action is taken against these criminals who are in uniform. The committee recommends also at 448 that Parliament enacts the proposed Religious Organization Bill 2023 to provide legislative framework for the regulation of religious organizations and establishment of Office of the Registrar of Religious Organization, registration framework, qualification of religious leaders, offenses, and penalties for non-compliance. Mr. Speaker, if I had the power, and I don't have, I would convert Senator Mungatana's committee into a special committee to work on this bill. This bill must be available. The tragedy that is Shakahola has now given us the opportunity, the reason, the courage, the excuse for us to face our religious leaders and tell them you are going to be regulated. Religious organizations must be regulated. Why do we have the Bible? Why do we have the Ten Commandments? Why do we have the teachings of the disciples of Jesus Christ? Why do we have the teachings of Prophet Muhammad in the Quran? Those teachings are meant to set standards so as to regulate. So regulation is already provided for in the Bible, it is provided for in the Holy Quran, is provided for even in the Constitution, we must regulate churches. There are far too many. Let me tell you, from Shikalagala Junction to Marinya, on the way, on the road from Shikalagala Senator, to Butere. Senator Boni Karwale, what is your point of honor? Yes. Senator Okech. Mr. Speaker, you know, I, I wouldn't at all want to, uh, and I'm rising understanding order number 105 on statement of fact. I wouldn't at all want to, you know, uh, interrupt the cadence with which the majority whip is already presenting, and these are very passionate issues that I know that we worked on very, very well. But I want just to say that, uh, uh, you know, the, the chapter and the report that you have just read is not on the regulation of churches, is on the regulation of religious organizations, which is inclusive of churches. I want to stress this because one of the eminent challenges we faced, Mr. Speaker, when we were uh, conducting uh, you know, public participation in the entire uh, exercise, it, as it was assumed that we are only uh, making recommendations to attack or regulate churches. The regulation is for all religious organizations that are not limited to churches. So, that, senior, that's what all the, the cadence I want, I want you to go with. But sorry for interrupting, but it's important to emphasize on that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, that was actually a point of information which uh, you have received. Yes, uh, Mr. Speaker, I wanted to loud him for that uh, piece of information. But Senator Omigori, if anybody has sent you to this house to be interrupting the Senator of Kakmega when I'm debating, go and tell him that the strategy is for you to wait for your time and then debate. Tamboli, Mr. Tamboli, Speaker, Tamboli. sir. Senator Ndokech is very much in order to, 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 to inform you or to seek clarification. That is why he's in this house. Don't gag him. For that purpose. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Speaker. And uh, it raises your minutes. You are Mr. Doing Speaker, so now clear your minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. If he wanted to inform me, he would have inf asked me to allow him to inform me, and I would have gladly to have uh, done so. I'm just helping him to be a better legislator. And I, <laughs> I can assure you, you have an opportunity to be a better legislator in this house. If, if, you, if you talk to Senator Bonnie, Mungatana... Senator Bonnie, you should not talk to your colleague directly. Mr. Speaker, sir. You see, you know I'm not here just by chance. I'm here to present the house. So if you could start communicating to your colleague directly, then you would better tell me to go and look for my... or pluck my tea in the mail. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm guided. You know, uh, I was speaking to the Holy Quran and the Bible, and I'm not too sure which verse in the two books, but there's a provision that blessed are those who believe when they don't see. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, in, in paragraph 509, the committee recommends that the, directorate, the director of criminal investigations investigates the relationship between Paul McKenzie and Ezekiel Odera with a view of establishing any criminal culpability of Ezekiel Odera in aiding or abetting the event in Shakahola tragedy within 30 days of the adoption of this report. Congratulations, my brother Mungatana. This particular recommendation will stand for many years because when you are frustrated by some civil servants, Mungatana and your team, when you are frustrated by some forces that we have come to learn later in your efforts to get down to this, you took the unprecedented initiative of going to Mavuleni? Mama? Mavueni. And the country raised eyebrows. The country thought, the country feared that probably parliament was being compromised. But now that you have come out with the recommendation 509, 509, we respect you. You are holding the name of this Senate high, that it is out of the frustration by functionaries of government that forced you to do the unprecedented by going to Ezekiel Odera's church in the manner you did. I want to appeal to Pastor Ezekiel Odera. Parliament was in your place. The children of God have died because they believed in the teaching of Paul McKenzie. Pastor Ezekiel, I appeal to you from the bottom of my heart because of the blood of those children. Please come clean. Uh, Senator Pro Professor Margaret Kamar.